Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be talking about SolidWorks and I'll explain to you some basic concepts, how to set up and a quick tutorial on how to create a simple a basic bucket. So you have the option to choose between part, assembly and drawing. Logically you choose a new part and now you have a pretty empty workspace. So to optimally create a part in SolidWorks, I recommend you setting up your workspace as follows. You should right click on the toolbar and use the following settings. Command manager, the use large button with text setting, features, line format, motion manager, reference geometry, render tools, sketch, standard views, task pane and view. Now you should click the customize option and choose two of the most important settings that we will be using. Add relationships and normal too. You can place these wherever you want in your workspace. So, now that we are all set up, let me introduce you to the workspace. So we have three planes, the front plane, also called the first plane, the top plane, also called the second plane, and the right plane, also called the third plane. You can move around in SolidWorks by pressing the mouse wheel on your mouse. When you want to start creating a figure in SOLIDWORKS, you should firstly choose a plane. I personally chose the front plane for example. Then you need to sketch the drawing that you want to create. I recommend you having all the origins shown so that it is easier for you to define the drawing. Okay, now that you know all the basics of SOLIDWORKS, let's simply start by creating a bucket. So, first things first, we need to sketch a circle on a plane. The sketch needs to be defined, that means all the lines need to be black, not blue. To define a sketch, firstly, we need it centered. And secondly, we need some dimensions. In SOLIDWORKS we have two basic concepts. The first one is adding material and the second one is cutting material out. In this case we have added some material as shown. Now, let's smooth the lower edge.
We will cut through the material using the shell command. We will talk about this command and other commands in future videos. After smoothing the upper edges, we now managed to create a simple bucket. So this was just a quick tutorial. If you want to know more about SOLIDWORKS, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be talking about details in future videos. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.